Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today we'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's get started in the middle of our page with the nose. So I'm going to start on the left side and draw a curve going over towards the right for the top of the nose. Now we're going to take these two points and just angle in towards the center. So on the left we're going to come down towards the center and we'll go up on the right side. Now let's color the nose in black. At the tip of the nose, we're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the top of the mouth. So just pulling the pen towards us. Now on the left side of the nose, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. Curving out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right, going out and then down to about the same height as we have in the middle. Now we're going to connect the left side with a curve going in towards the center. Starting on the outside, we'll curve down and we'll pull that up in towards the middle. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming down and then up on the right. Let's layer a few teeth underneath. So on the bottom here, just draw a little half circle. We'll do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw one more tooth on either side here, so leaving a little gap in between. Draw two teeth on either side like that. Let's go up here and draw in the eye sockets. So on the inside of the nose, on the left side, we're gonna draw a circle going around and then pulling it back in towards the muzzle. So we're gonna start on the inside of the nose, Curving around towards the left, and then we'll pull that back in behind the muzzle. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start on the right side, curving up to the same height. Curving up, and then we'll pull that around towards the side of the muzzle on the right. From here we're going to tuck in the eyeballs inside the eye sockets, but we're going to pull them inwards. So starting on the inside edge, we're going to circle around and then just pull that back in. Just going around and then pulling that back in, leaving a gap on the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting at the same height, curve around towards the right, and then pull that back in behind the muzzle. We're going to color the outside areas in black. Now in the center of each eyeball, we're going to draw in the iris, so a smaller circle right in the middle of the eyeball. Starting from the top, come around to the bottom, back up to the top. In the middle, we're going to draw in a pupil, so an even smaller circle, and then we'll color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the top, come around to the bottom, back up to the top, and then again, a smaller circle inside for the pupil, and then we'll color that in black. Let's add in some eyelids. So on the left side, we're gonna curve over the iris and then in. So it's got a little bit of an arc going across. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Just going up and then over towards the right. From here, we're gonna draw in the cheekbones. So from the corners of the muzzle, we're gonna curve around the eye and just pull that back in. So on the left side, we're gonna go out and then we'll just pull that in towards the eye. We'll do the same thing on the right. Going out and then pulling that in towards the eye. Now from here, we want to connect these two points with the top of the head. So it's almost like a big half circle going up to the top. Starting on the left side, we want to come up to about here. So going up and over. And then I'm just going to pull that straight down on the right side. Let's go ahead and add in the lower jaw. So from the corners again, we're going to curve down the bottom of the lip. So just over here, we're going to curve down towards the center. Now we're going to pull this back up on the right side. Curving up. Let's add a few teeth along the bottom. So we're going to add three on the left side and then three on the right. We leave a gap in the center here, curving up and then down. And we'll continue that three times on the left. Leave that gap. And we'll do that three times on the right. Let's go ahead and color the inside of the mouth in black. Now from here, let's draw in the lower part of the jaw. So we're basically going to trace the inside on the outside here. Starting on the left, we're going to step over, curving down towards the chin, 
I'm gonna pull that up on the right side underneath the cheek. From here, we're gonna move up to the top of the head and draw on the ears. So on the left side here, just above the eye, I'm gonna draw a curve, going from left to right, coming down towards the head, and then back up towards the center. We'll leave that space, starting from the inside, curve down, and then out towards the right. From these ends, we're gonna curve out and then up. On the left side, we're gonna blow the curve out, do the same thing on the inside, making sure we come up to the same height. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve going in the opposite direction, going up and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So curving out and up, going out and then up. Connect those two points with a curve for the top of the ear. Now we're going to trace the inside, just following the outside edge. Starting on the left side, we'll just curve down. Do that on both sides first, and then we'll just connect the top and then the bottom. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Tracing up the sides first, curving the top, and then the bottom. Let's connect the ears to the head. So in here, just below the ear, we draw two straight lines side by side. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Now we're gonna draw the tops of the ears. So we're gonna take this curve and flip it over. So on the left side, we're gonna come down towards that curve and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving down, and then back up. Now we're gonna connect those two points with almost like a half oval. From here we're gonna go up to the top, and then down on the right. Let's do the same thing on the right side, going up to the top, and curving down on the right. We're gonna trace just the upper edge on the outside. Curving up, and then down. On the right side we we'll go up, and then pull that back down. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So on either side of the chin, I'm just gonna curve out and then down. On the right, I'll go in the opposite direction to the same height. Now we're gonna connect that with a curve for the lower part of the waist. Curving down, back up on the right. Up here, we're just gonna tuck the bow tie underneath the chin. So we're gonna draw a little half circle just underneath the chin. On the bottom left side, I'm gonna curve out towards the left, curving out towards the right. Now we're going to pull these up underneath the chin. Just hooking them back up like that. Underneath the bow tie, we're going to draw a little belly patch. So from that corner, we're going to step up and curve around the side of the body. On the right, we'll step up and then curve down. From here, let's add in the lower torso. So on the left corner here, we're just going to bulge out. On the right, we'll bulge out. Now we're going to curve these down towards the center point. So curving down, we're going to leave a gap in the center here. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to connect those two points with a little curve going across, a slight curve. Now let's work in the legs. From this corner here, underneath the lower hip, we're going to curve out and then down towards the knee. On the inside, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, coming down to the same height. Curving down. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve again, curving across. Let's do the same thing on the right. So over here, we're going to curve down. On the outside, we're going to go in the opposite direction down to the same height, and then we'll connect it with a curve for the lower part of the leg. Now on the outside edge of the leg, we're going to draw the kneecap. So from that corner, I'm just going to draw a little half circle coming down and then up. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming down and then back up. Now for the lower part of the leg, we're basically going to do the same thing. We're going to take that corner here, we're going to bulge out and in. On the opposite side, we'll do the opposite. Let's connect those two points with another curve, going across. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving out. Same thing on the outside of the leg, connecting those two points. Now we're going to tuck in the feet underneath. So we're going to start on the heel side first. So right here we're just going to curve down. Do that on the right side as well. Now for the bottom of the foot, we're going to curve the bottom of the foot going in towards the toes. So from the heel, we're just going to curve across. Now we're going to layer some toes across this way. So we're going to draw in a little C. Curving around like this. Now we're going to tuck this in three times. Starting at the top, we'll draw another C. And then we'll draw one more beside it. Now at the top of the last toe here, we're going to curve in towards the ankle. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start with that bottom curve for the bottom of the foot first. Curving in towards the toe. Now we're going to do reverse C. So curving them in the opposite direction. We're going to draw this three times, stacking them one behind the other, and then at the top of the last toe, we'll curve right in towards the ankle. 
Now let's draw in the arms. We're going to start with the shoulders first. So leaving a gap on the side of the body here, underneath the chin, we're going to step over, draw an angled line going out. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're leaving a little space there. We're going to take this and curve up. Curving up and out. Now we're going to curve this in towards the face. Curving in, tucking that in underneath the chin. Now in this little gap here, we just want to draw two lines going in towards the body. One at the bottom, and one at the top. Do the same thing on the right side. Now similar to how we did the legs, we're going to stack the arms coming down towards the hands. Starting on the outside edge, this little corner, curve out, and then down towards the elbow. From this inside edge, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. Let's connect those two points with a straight angled line. We'll do the same thing on the right. Curving around, and then the outside corner will curve around, and then we'll connect those two points with an angled line. We're going to work our way down the forearms. So starting at that corner now, curving out and down towards the wrist. On the inside, we'll curve in the opposite direction. And then again, connecting those two points with an angled line. Let's go to the right and do the same. Curving around. Same on the outside. Connect it with a straight line. Now the final part, we're going to add in the hands. So we're going to start on the left side here first. Starting from this corner, we're going to curve around and then pull that up for the thumb. Now for the fingers, we're going to stack them this way. So from this corner, we're going to curve around the thumb, little hook. We're going to curve the finger and pull that back up. Now at the bottom of this finger, on the side here, we're just going to curve around again for the second finger. Now the third one's going to curve it all the way up towards the wrist, curving up. We're going to take that hand, flip it over on the right side, starting from the inside of the wrist, curving around and then up. We'll curve around the thumb, round out the finger, and then pull that up. Come down to the side of the finger, curving up again, and then finally the third finger, we curve up right in towards the wrist, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Chidi Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.